All right, Unit 2, Video 3, we're going to be talking about reference angles with degrees. Uh, video 4 will discuss reference angles in radians. Um, they're done very similarly, um, but kind of a different strategy as you approach working with um, degrees or with radians. Let's get started. So first of all, what is a reference angle? For any angle theta, a positive acute angle is made by the terminal side of angle and the x-axis. Let me draw a picture for you. So we've got our positive x-axis and the terminal side of an angle. That's theta. This would be considered a reference angle, which means, the and it, oh, we forgot the word acute, which means my angle has to stay less than 90 degrees when I talk about any reference angle. It must be less than 90 degrees, and it is always going to be noted that it is a, a, a measure between uh, 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Okay, and that's our definition of acute angles. With all of these, we're going to be able to complete the sentence, blank has a reference angle of blank in quadrant blank. I'll show you what I mean. So here I've got an example with 135 degrees. So we're going to start by drawing the angle of 135 degrees. So here is theta. Okay. So we can say 135 degrees has a reference angle of. So the reference angle here is going to actually come from, um, it's going to reach the angle. So I'm going to start by saying it's from here to here. This is 45 degrees. I know that because it's 180, which is this line right here, minus 135 to find the difference. So it's 45 degrees. That is the reference angle, and we're going to say that 135 is in quadrant 2, where it's located. So that's how we complete our sentence. 135 degrees has a reference angle of 45 degrees in quadrant 2. Let's try negative 60 degrees. So I'm going to start with blue, and then we'll go back to red. So here's our, starting there, negative 60 degrees puts me down here. That's my angle theta, negative 60 degrees. Well, in order to get back to the positive x-axis, this is actually a very simple one. Oops, pen color. It's actually just this right here. It's still 60 degrees. I just want to get back and I want to say, well, how far is it from that positive x-axis? So it has the same value of a reference angle. We're going to say this is in quadrant 4. Let's go on to the next one. 218 degrees. So I'm going to start here, and I know that this is 90, this is 180, and if I go past this line over here, that's 270, so I don't want to go that far. So let's say it ends over here. Oops. That's our theta. So 218 degrees. Now, how far is it means I have to head back to the x-axis. I always, always go to the x-axis. So how far is it to the x-axis? Well, I don't know. That's 218. The x-axis was 180. So that looks like it's 38 degrees. So it's 38 degrees is the reference angle, and this is in quadrant 3. So the key things are always return. to the x-axis, and your angle is always acute. Um, I recommend you look at the chart on page 72 and the table on page 73 um, for a little bit more before you come to class uh, tomorrow.